Hello everyone. My name is Divyam Kanwal. I live in Bagasore district of Uttarakhand. I study in grade 8 and my hobbies are reading story books, studying and playing. Today on the second episode of the Hus Talks we have with us Mr. Tanuj Samadhar. He is a talented artist from the Kamrup district of Assam. He is known for his work with color pencil, oil and watercolors. He also works very deftly with charcoal and acrylic. His artworks have been exhibited in renowned art galleries worldwide and he has won 10 international and 35 national awards in the field and he is also a part Pradhan Mantri Rashtriya Bal Puraskar winner. So without any further ado, let's hear it from. Hello everyone. I will tell you five things that happened with me that taught me five big things today. So uh, I have been creating artworks since I was a kid, and from a very young age, uh, I participated in different art competitions. And the number of times I have failed is higher than the number of times I have achieved success. but i never gave up and continued to sharpen my skills and today i paint much better than i used to do earlier at the end of the day i realized that you yourself is your competitor from this i've learned my first lesson that failure plays a very crucial role in the process of becoming successful it is in fact the first step towards it uh, but growing up i used to envy some of my friends for things uh, they had which i didn't and wish for all those stuffs also i was not very fluent in english two or three years back Uh, but then i stopped thinking about what society will say what people will say and started practicing day in and day out and today i can speak this language decently from this i've learned that i should not limit myself for the sake of the expectations of other people so don't limit your potentials only by thinking about what people would say about it you might not be fluent in a particular language or you might not possess branded items but these doesn't uh, these things doesn't matter at all don't matter at all what matters most is your self satisfaction respecting the person who you are today and it is rightly said that practice makes a man perfect i have applied this rule in my life as today i create paintings in acrylic what color pencils charcoal graphite water mediums etc achieving expertise in all these mediums has become possible for me only after ample practice so no matter how many times you fail you should never stop trying keep practicing if you are a beginner you might face many difficulties initially but you should never give up on your dreams and when you practice you make mistakes too it is a part of the process i do have made a lot of mistakes as a beginner and consequently got a lot of scoldings from my teachers and elders when i used watercolors initially i didn't know what proportions of water should be mixed with the pigments to achieve an even consistency but later i realized that these may vary according to the types of paintings uh, i gained the knowledge because i admitted my mistakes and carefully noticed my shortcomings my mistakes and i improved myself accordingly So uh, from this I learned to admit my mistakes and to improve myself so that I don't repeat the same mistakes over and over again. Admitting mistakes helps you helps you see things as they really are. Mistakes happen but how you deal with them is what makes the difference. I would also like to add that uh, we all should have faith in the almighty. There might be many people who don't uh, have any sort of belief or faith in such things but as far as I am concerned I've got results. In times when I feel low and dejected I bow down in front of the almighty. and i miraculously get a different sort of energy flowing within my body whenever i fail in achieving something be it the mastery of a particular brush stroke or overcoming life's hurdles i uh, pray to god uh, to give me the strength to continue my struggle and to never give up i have learned to have faith in god and now i believe that whatever doesn't kill us makes us stronger i hope these five things would help you to be the person you have always dreamed to be we all should remember that we have only one life so we should live and enjoy it to the fullest Having said this I would like to conclude my talk here. Thank you very much.